the most powerful heroes of Dixon. Ranging from the series la back season 12, I think, as well. Mm -hmm. Now, for Dewa, how do they want to dabble into this banning phase? What do they want to ban out? Will they be coning down the Loiski's options, or will it be another ban towards another hero? Just, just eliminate the options for that gold leaner, right? Yeah. Mirko touched on the Barodi ban, perhaps a another gold lane ban that would make sense as a Roger, I believe, here. Mm -hmm. So Brody, Brody and Roger, eliminate that out. Geek, I, I, I think they might commit the a... Your oh, they actually went for the Bruno. Okay, I thought yeah. that Geek may be Paramus ban. What do you think? I'm not a fan of the Faramis ban because they've already picked up the Valentina. If yeah, they didn't have Valentina, Geek, 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 Geek Fam ban out the Faramis? Oh. Yeah, I don't think so because they have the Valentina. I feel like oh, they kind of want the, 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 the Faramis to be picked up by Dewa to utilize it. But we do have a comment from Mr. Chadman. Chadman Chadera, we're concerned about our points but confident in making it to the playoffs. So if you take a look at the chance to play off percentage. Mm -hmm. We did see that Geek Fam still had like 71. around 71%. Yeah. So that's pretty huge for them. And of course Very. now, confidence is in their veins for Geek Fam. So good band there. is of course going to be confident in that. I think I think the, what they're hovering on is a, is a good yeah. band, the Moscom. Uh, Completely forgot about that. I was talking about the Brody and the Roger, but yeah, Bruno also counters. The Claude, the Moscom actually does a bit of a better I job because all you need to do is tap your skill to Fear of Misery. <laughs> Goodbye, Blazing Duet. You get thrown back, and even if you jump back with the Battle Mirror image, the Inspire with the Moscom, yeah. You're not going to have a good mm -hmm. time with the Claude. So now the options are still available for the Brody and the Roger, the two picks we were talking about. So for Dewa, they're actually more concerned of the Bruno and Moscow, the two bullies that can actually also outscale the Claude. So for Geek Fam, now the choice is, do you want the hero that bullies and, you know, brawls, or the hero that bullies and front to back? The Brody or the Roger? Technically, they could also just go for the carry. That's time also a pretty good matchup no in the gold lane. Oh. They go for neither. They go for a wow. Beatrix pick that we haven't seen in a while for Chidera. But hey, yeah. feels like he's confident. Beatrix pickup, quite interesting. And yeah, the Moskov ban point out by Mirko is actually pretty good because this Moskov can just self-peel himself when faced in the threat of a Claude or even a Fredrin that needs to walk in front of you. That Spear of Misery does help with the Abyss Walker as well. The mobility you have is so good, but they will pick up the Beatrix. Yeah. Question in this pickup though, will it be able to, let's not say snowball or dominate, will it be able to fare? against this claw. Yeah, it does. Especially if you go Master Assassin. I've been in this matchup actually, utilizing that matchup knowledge now. The Beatrix actually does quite well if you go for all in, but the Lapu Lapu will certainly be picked up by Dewa. That's Dixon's only other hero that we are used to seeing from him that is not Terizla or Arlen. So, oh, and the Vexana actually picked up by Dewa too. A bit more peel, but oh. Quick pick. Ultra healing for Geek Fam with the floor in. And that's why they picked up the Valentina to take the IMU away. So you won't have the blue. We will have a lot of healing. You won't. It was a trade of two things, but it feels like they're white united. Now they are pinched into a coldy sack. This could be a 2-0 from Geek Fam. But of course, we hope they're white united would be able to fight back. Geek Fam, I feel like with this draft, they look much more solid. Let's see though with the counter index. Well. Last game, the counter index and the lineup rating also favored Dewa United. So, I don't know if you want to be looking at the counter index and lineup rating to decide ultimately who's going to take this game. No purifies though on the board for Geek. Meanwhile, two purifies for Dewa really respecting that CC. Will the gods be punished once more? Or will they be the ones punishing the Geeks? They have to save themselves for a playoff spot. Geek Fam en route to that. It is Geek Fam against Tewa United in game number two. A match point for Geek. Boloyski was the man well, of the hour. He was Legend. on the Hellkirt. Now Florin, last pick. Will he be able to have the same influence on or in the Land of Dawn? This man has two alter egos. It's either him playing the healers or him just taking charge of the skirmishes with the assassin types of roams that he is able to use. And now with the Florin pick, I feel like he'll play a bit more safe and he'll just enchant 
his teammates with the feeling that he has. Yeah. Usually with the Florian, you don't really expect the team with the Florian to actually go for neutral objectives early. They actually really like to go for the trades instead. I think that might be what Geek Fam are looking for. So Ray will technically still walk up to the turtle, but he will just be looking for a steal. If they will zone him and commit resources, they'll just back away. But yeah, Jadera actually doesn't go for the Master Assassin, so he's not really concerned about the laning, but still he's winning! Beloy Flicker! Oh! He messed the Flicker early, he even does not connect though. That's already a huge threat for Watt, who popped the Purify. So laning-wise, Watt versus Jadera. Jadera has a Flicker in hand. Yeah, and this is really, really good for Jadera, because we were talking about how Beatrix will be able to bully the Claude hard in lane with the Master Assassin. The fact that he's doing it with the Weapon Mastery means that this man is going to be a menace in the mid game. Once he gets that BOD and maybe Heptasis, depending on what he wants to go for, this is a scary, scary Beatrix. This Beatrix could really snowball quite soon, and you can see the, pre the pressure exerted towards what? And Luke, he's just gonna play more safe with the Ruby, he's gonna wait for the pickups. That is going to be called maybe later in this game. But now, of course, the neutral objective contest, like what Mirko mentioned, maybe Geek, they don't really want to go and rush themselves into the neutral objective contest. Because they have this floor and they, they'll choose to let it go, maybe. But Luke try to shadow this turtle, so it could be a contest that I mean, Ray is in the vicinity. Yeah, good setup, though, already early. Dixon early, a brave spider as well. Ray will not be able to find the angle, and he will not force the first neutral objective. Goes to the hands of Dewa. Yeah, they'll concede it, and like how we discussed, it is in the hands of Dewa United now, Geek Fam. We just play this safe and wait for the timers, the power spikes, to come in, especially into this Beatrix. Now it's just back to sl a slow build for Geek Fam and Dewa. For Dewa, neutral objective control, they should try to utilize as much as possible the advantage of the turtle, getting a bit more shielding. They want to try to look for brawls around the map, but I think Geek Fam have actually drafted in a way where they can avoid team fights very easily. They have so many disengaged tools with the Ruby, the Valentina technically, with the Terrify, and even Ray. He just popped the Tetan as welcome to get anti CC and dash away. And on top of that, the blue. So even if Dewa overchase, there's always going to be another layer of health that you can rely on. And now Dewa are kind of stuck. They're kind of forced to play a scaling game against Geek Fam. When you talk about scaling, I feel like Geek Fam, they do have that in their pockets. It will get harder for Dewa United as the game progresses. But again, this Claude could be a menace if it does touch that late game scenario. Geek Fam, the way they just corral into these positions, they're pretty on point with all uh, the movements around the map. But how long will they concede the neutral objectives? I mean, Dewa United will always have their hands first and do the objectives as Ray gets his orange buff full in a way. Yeah. Very good. Very good proactiveness there all. Bottom side. Will not give it on towards the fight just yet here. Four minutes and no kills yet. Perhaps in the second turtle, both teams will find and want business. Ooh. Good, good runner there by Chidera. A lot of Even poke. Did you see the emote? Ha! <laughs> gotcha. A lot of poke with the Beatrix. When it comes to late game, does this Beatrix call this spot or will this spot just take charge? You know what? I'll actually say the Beatrix will uh, have a better time in this game in particular because firstly, you have the nature. Oh, I'm offended. Good knockup though by the Vixana. He's stabilizing. Looking for a setup for that turtle. Gary taunts Luke. Does not connect on towards the damage just yet. Dixon jumps in. Knocked up. Knocked up here. And it seems like the turtle will fall to the hands of Gary. Geek fam will not commit on towards a fight as they find no compensation for that turtle. Again, an even game back to square one. But the neutrals are all in the hands of Dewa United. You can see a boy. He would always have that extra appeal with the IMU when stolen towards Cage with the Vexana. So you have that extra Lord that can help you and assist you in the skirmishes later on. Great disengage tool, like we said, for Geek Fam. So they technically can try to be proactive, but in the end they can just back off if they need to. And that's what we saw from Dewa. But back to the question in hand, the Beatrix or the Claude. In this game in particular, I would have to say 
the Beatrix will have an easier time in the mid to late game. Why? Because number one, with a nature. So he can actually just neutralize the damage. And for Watt, you would say the same thing. He can also go with a nature miracle. But the thing is, he has to go in at the right time, like legit. For Geek Fam, like we said, they have so many disengage tools that they can technically kite forever. But for Watt, he has to use the Blazing Duet perfectly in this fight. And even then, there's a Terrify. There's an I'm Offended. There's a Don't Run Wolf King. There's a big Chomp as well. There's so many ways for Geek Fam to layer their damage or CC on what? And to add on top of that, the render shots. This poke from Geek Fam in towards the late game, it's gonna hurt a lot. And technically for Geek Fam, that power spike is technically almost there. Almost. Because there needs one more item, but the mid gauge. Oh my goodness, good taunt, good knockup as well! First blood towards Maloyski, but the trade is a little bit expensive. Tadira falls as well. Wow. Now Ray, oh. as well as Luke, will fall. It's our oh. ultimate wipeout. The first wipeout in the series, and goes to the hands of the gods. Six minute wipeout. We talked about how they could disengage, but when you have Dewa united in your faces, left, right, center, there is nowhere for you to go. One mistake is all it takes with no Purify. And the Beatrix step over, way over for Driana knock up. And then you can see the overwhelming CC from Dewa. The Eternal Guard on top of the Taunt and the knock up. Just so many combos together. It was a Wombo Combo Chamro. That's what <laughs> Ranger Mas used to say. <laughs> A lot of Wombo combos indeed, but Tian in the subject of something, he's gonna be fine. The orange buff contest again, Gary, you have so much control with the Fredrin. And you wanna contest these little things in that part of the map. We're talking about how Geek Fam, they could just play this like, a like, little game of tug of war. You could rather just poke and disengage, or when you wanna step forward, when you wanna engage, when all hells break break loose and when it doesn't go your way to disengage, then again, you have to be in the right exact timing, the right exact position. If Dewa just get hold of your position, it is very hard for them to run away. And it was proven that mid skirmish where Dewa was able to get five kills all for themselves. Oh almost a solo practically from Kidera. Now let's see circling Eagle will not be committed there. But what happened there in the bottom side of the map? Actually, Chidera popped the flicker as well, so... Yeah, Watt almost miscalculated. Mm -hmm. But it ends up being a big win, actually, for Watt, right? Because he just committed a battle mirror image, and he would use the Purify, and Chidera had to commit the flicker. What happened was uh, a big Renner Apathy to the face, <laughs> and Ouch. a flicker almost with a basic attack. But that's the damage that will continue to build for Chidera as well. The thing is, for Geek Fam, their main plan was just to weather the storm in the early game. It's all about getting to the mid to late. Now that the 4,000 gold lead has been taken away by Dewa, and now that Gary is so far ahead over Ray, actually, this might actually get tougher for Geek Fam. They might have to concede a whole lot of tier twos before they can get to their item power spice and before this Florin actually gets online. Florin will be the key for Geek Fam, of course, as the game progresses. But again, Ouch, man, you can look at the poke potential. And hands to there with the Renner's Apathy. But Ewa, they'll be fine, of course, with Watt just being able to traverse around positions. Now Geek Fam is approaching this together, moving in unison. You know, they, try to, they try to look for a pickoff, maybe a, some sort of engage to a certain member of Dewa United. But they'll have to wait again for, the, for their power spikes. Sure. I don't think they can take fights right now. They're still quite far behind. That's a 4,000 gold lead, and Gary's two levels ahead, unless they get a pick. Oh, Dixon, a little bit too premature, but now with the Blazing Dixon. Duet, Watt will try oh, to create Dixon. havoc, and that's a good taunt there, as Watt finds one, and Tadera will be taken out as well. Watt finds a double, looking for the triple, as Ray is a juicy, juicy target, and the Dino falls here, as Kays will lock him down. Now, a boy in Luke against five. It's a little bit too much to ask here, as they are still able to hold the line. The gods finally give away the punishment towards the geeks. You can see how Dixon was the embodiment of God. He wasn't dead. He was able to escape in that position. He just took it like a man, or like you said, like a god in front. <laughs> this front lining, dealing damage, and soaking everything in their way. And now Gary is three levels ahead of Ray. He can do whatever he wants, technically. I don't even think Geek Fam can really pick him off. Look who's for the I'm offended. But Gary doesn't care if he offends you, man. He just, he's there. <laughs>
But yeah, for day one, they're utilizing that wipeout advantage so, so well. They're just capitalizing on every little mistake that GeekFam are making. And GeekFam are, ma Geek are making a whole lot of mistakes, right? They are engaging against a team with a 4,600 gold lead. The fact that Dixon survived... Oh man, 8-0. Mm. I think it says it all right now. GeekFam tried to weather the storm, but the storm is eating them up. It's way too hard. 7.6k gold up for Dewa United. But they have to farm up their items. I mean, for Chidera, Fiori completed Malefic Roar as well. But in the current position of Dewa United, they're just snowballing hard. And what? They're all fine and no deaths attributed towards Dewa United Geek Fam. Will they be able to hit back in this game? Gotta be patient, man. You gotta be patient. All inners now officially taken down from the side of Geek Fam's map. Listen, see here. Oh, just not there. Don't want to engage for Hazard right now. Off HP. Luke looking for an engage. Lord now needs to be taken care of ASAP. They will with the Venice range. Hold. And the Lord has been peeled away without losing that base turret. So, at least he keep for something. Good, I'm offended. On towards here. Dixon now pops. The bravest fighter actually finds this knockup, but good, good flicker there by Luke. Now they want to move on towards the first base turret in the bottom side of the map. They will get it. Geek fam will not be able to defend that one, but they will try and defend the mid. Good, good poke around both of teams here. You do not want to get and commit onto his unnecessary fight. Still 8-0 though. Still alive. That was a good pull, but I don't sense where Geek Fam does have enough damage. They just don't. Not yet. No, they're still way too behind. And I think if you take a look at the goal lead, 9,000. Uh, That's why. It's very tough for Geek Fam to actually look for damage. Because even Chidera, yeah, sure. You have a lot of peel. You have a lot of healing. But now that the damage dealers for Dewa deal so much as well, just the Lapu alone in the front with the Hunter Strike can zone you and you technically can't also just overextend because you don't have any pure, you don't have a purify, right? You have to flicker out. It's going to be kind of tough. Uh, they've, even now, okay, this is where they get their power spike, by the way, right? Like it's early mid game, the Florin has a bit of healing as well, but I feel like it's a bit too late and they've already given such a big advantage to Dewa. And Dewa's already taken that advantage from them. The 8,000 gold lead will mean they have so much more map prio and so much more ways to actually take this game. Bottom lane slow pushing and Geek Fam don't really have anyone to clear. The only guy that can clear is the Beatrix and that's a problem. When your marksman is the guy who you need to send into the bottom lane and it's not a mobile marksman, it's Beatrix. It's not a claw that can just blink constantly wall to wall. He has good clear, but you can see how they were utilizing this. Is contesting the right answer. Let's see. Oh, Dixon jumps on to it. Chidera pops the bloom early. Now let's see. Oh. Geek, they're scattered, but oh. Dixon oh. and Gary will find Ray. one. Ray, Ray is actually isolating, taken out as well, but Gary will be taken out. Good peel and good disengage by Chidera, who was targeted heavily by Dewa United's member. Now, Dewa, though, still have full control on the board. A fight that look to go the way of Geek Fam, but again, they just lost all of it. And Dewa United, the tanky front lines doing the job, just holding their lives forevermore. And Geek Fam, they're just able to get one, but lost two members in that exchange. And the Lord as well, it's going to the hands of Dewa United. They finally get something on the board at least, right? They're no longer at zero kills, mm -hmm. but still, big problem for them because the trade was not good enough. Man, that was a massive bonk from Gary. <laughs> Luckily for Chidera, he had the win of nature on time because he would have just been deleted there. Let's take a look at Dixon. This is what we're talking about. The fact that Dixon can just back, go behind, and do this much damage. Dude, Chidera, luckily, he saved that win of nature. Because if he used it for Dixon, that bonk would have deleted him and Boloiski. And it ended up just with Boloiski suffering the death. But now, Geek Fam, full defense mode. Chidera has Bennett, but is it going to be enough? Will the threat be enough now with the Lord standing still in the base? So, Queen Eagle on towards still. The damage will come through. Rock now already hitting towards the base. Geek Fam still with five though, and they will be able to take care of the Lord now. Focusing on towards the mid. Dewa United, they are reshifting their focus. 
Not long towards the base turret. They will instead clear the jungles. They have good wave clear. In the hands of Geek Fam. A lot of weaponry in the pocket of Chadera. You have the Miburu, you have the Bennett as well. To clear up the minions quite quick, so at least not for Geek Fam, they can still hold on. Dewa, there's just going to be another opportunity for them to just knock in the doors of Geek Fam. And I don't know when they'll be able to fight back. There's Pike. Ooh. It's just not coming in. Yeah, they, they can't really penetrate this base. They need to slowly but surely get rid of the other base turrets for now because to end this game, they need all the three base turrets crashing in at once with a Lord so that they can actually utilize that chaos to hit the turret. Right now, I think for the the way they will end, you know, three base turrets obviously and the Lord marching down on the base and then all of them just need to dive. They need to get some space for Wat to hit the turret because as of right now, the fact that Geek Fam have so much peel makes it super hard for Dewa to just commit into that base with the two base turrets still standing with only one minute wave pushing in to that base itself. But if we take a look at the items, Chadera is online. He has the DHS, so the Lapu Lapu won't even be able to really soak in as much damage. It really depends though. If he goes for Queen's Wings here, he can actually add on to the damage reduction of his Bravest Fighter to try to soak in as much damage as possible from Chadera. But now that a boy has also kind of reached his item power spike with the Divine Glaive and he's already building towards a Holy Crystal that he should be able to complete very, very soon, it gets to a point where Dewa need to end things quick or they might actually have to face off against this mid to late game composition of Geek Fam head on in a pure 50-50 fight. Luckily for them, it won't be 50-50. It will still be favored to them because of the super mini wave that'll be pushing into far lane this time. The Lord is spawning up top. will mean that Dewa will have uh, a lot more to say here just by utilizing the force error of the slow push building in bot. I gotta say though, being 9,000 gold behind, oh, being like map control is non-existent. Geek Fam are doing pretty decent in defending their base. Now though, potential engage, all the taunt, and they will commit. Healing Bloom will be popped now, Luke, looking for a disengage. And they are now, they will to have full control on the Lord's pit. Let's see how Geek Fam will try to retake the Lord's pit. Yeah. It seems like they will reset it first. Kalpesh P though, not fully, as the bottom side will be forced yep. to clear. And the bottom side is just pushing, crashing towards the crystal. So this is a beat Lord for Dewa. United without contest, Rickling Eagle. Oh, on towards three as well. Now Luke ha being the sandbag as well as Ray. Ray will not be able to escape this time, but Bloom will save his life for some time. Now let's see here, Geek Fam still stands with five. A very good defense yet again as they were able to hold the door. I'm offended with, but now they are united keeping, maintaining pressure on towards the side, top side of the wow. map here as Geek Fam is actually able still to defend that one. Look at the fortitude of Geek Fam just holding on towards their base terrace. They don't want this to, you know, big things to, to just fall because this is the line of defense, the last line of defense that Geek Fam does have if they want a shot at that mid-game 50-50 fight, like how Miracle mentioned. Well, it's gonna have to be in their base. This might be fight or flight for Geek. Oh, he can't fix it! It's a good engage. Has the immortality, though. Now Geek Fam, and as well as Dewa. Who will pull the trigger first? With the Lord now, six man jumping already in the base. Good knockup. Now, Geek Fam, so will they be able to defend this time? And it seems like, no, we will have a game three in our opening match of today. The gods do strike back. As the geeks now, they have to undergo game number three. What a performance though from the gods. They were United equalized the score. Well played to Dewa United. Utilizing that early pressure, the Geek Fam let go of, had to concede with the floor in utilizing the advantages that they got to fight, fight, and fight, and look for those openings in the early game. Gary being able to catch the Beatrix in that mid-game was really what created that wipeout. It started things off the snowball department.